Hey guys, welcome back to our tech. Today I have 21 Android tips and tricks for you that you can use on your smartphone. For the first tip, for those who still use buttons for navigation, you can head on to settings and in the display settings where you can switch to swipe gestures instead of the natural buttons that come inbuilt to the phone. The swipe gestures give you just a little more screen to use and maximize your screen space. An assistant, there are a lot of people who use it and some people who never use it. So you might recall summoning the assistant with the hey google command or long pressing the home button. But there is actually a widget that you can download from play store to launch the assistant too. The assist can, assistant can do all, quite many things. So basic things like turn on wifi, turn on the torchlight or any toggle actions or any calling actions such as call mom or anything like that can be done through the assistant. The assistant also can replace some apps like Shazam where it listens to the music playing around you and gives it gives the result that it gets to know. You can also access Google Lens that you would have to need an app. But if you go to the assistant and click that button right there, you will get access to Google Lens without having the app. So you can just directly see what's right in front of you without the Google Lens app and it comes with almost all the features that come with that. Dark mode can be a pretty good change when you are using your phone in the night or just generally to save some battery too. It will just replace the black, the bites with some blacks so it will help reduce some battery too and the strain on your eyes. Dark mode can also be scheduled based on your custom schedule or just sunset to sunrise where it will use your location to determine sunset and sunrise. Blue light filter or eye care shield in some phones is what what it does is it will just reduce the blue light coming out of your phone and it the screen will look a bit more yellowish. This helps reduce the strain on your eyes since blue light is stressful to your eyes. Again you can schedule it from sunset to sunrise or your own custom schedule. Do not disturb mode is another accessory or trick that you can use when sleeping or when you are just busy and you don't want any disturbances from your phone only and you can set certain exceptions where you will get calls if the, if it comes from the same number twice and things like that if you press the gesture or the button for recently opened apps twice then it will alternate between the last app and the current app like i have whatsapp and youtube opened it's alternating between them In some phones, there is an option for split screen view, even in non foldable phones. But when you use split screen view, as I am doing right now, then you can have two apps open simultaneously, which allows you to multitask. Suppose watch a video in one area, like YouTube in the bottom, and text on top with WhatsApp. You can even use screen, screen split in Chrome, where you can copy a link and paste it directly in the message and send it to your friend or whoever you want to send it to. Bonus tip, you can swipe on the top top area of the chrome tab to switch between tabs where it's very easy to switch tabs rather than going into the tab area and selecting which tab you want to switch to. With phones getting super large nowadays, it's really hard to reach the notification panel especially if you have small hands. So you can install this app called bottom quick, quick settings which will bring the notification panel to the bottom part of your phone which makes one hand use very easy. Feels a bit finicky sometimes but we can get used to it. If your phone has a fingerprint sensor on the back which some phones still have nowadays then you can set this in settings where when you swipe down on the fingerprint sensor it will pull down the notification panel which again is a bit better than reaching all the way up and getting it down. It's always better to charge your phone with the charger that it comes with because this charger is intended to charge the phone and it is definitely useful if you buy the charger that was supposed to come with it by paying some extra money. If you type a lot on your smartphone, Google voice typing might be useful for you. Just that you press the button and it records your speech and turns it into text. If you prefer typing on a keyboard though, an actual keyboard, you can get a USB-C to USB-A converter and connect it to your USB receiver that comes with your wireless keyboard and you can type on your smartphone with your wireless keyboard itself. 
letting your phone drop below 15% and charging it above 90% is not good for the battery so it's recommended that you avoid doing that also to prolong your phone's life and improve performance or like keep it consistent you should turn on auto restart that means the phone will restart automatically when you are not using it and help clear any cache or anything in the background and prolong its life your phone companion app on your smartphone can be installed to connect your smartphone and your pc where you can see notifications messages calls and even attend your call from your laptop when it's connected through bluetooth you can also access some social media apps like instagram whatsapp and twitter from your laptop that you can get apps in the microsoft store which is such as i'm showing you so you don't need to reach out for your phone you can access these apps directly on your laptop or desktop any phones almost all phones have game boosters nowadays and these game boosters will have lots of features but one of them is screen recording screen recorders will either come in the game booster or as a widget outside that can record the whole phone or whatever is happening in the phone but game boosters will allow only recording inside the game again this is where you can get it as a widget or just you can get some apps to record too but some phones already come with it it can help you record your screen on a final note using all these tips is great but one can get too addicted with the phone focus mode allows you to relieve yourself from this you can focus when you're working or just have your own time this mode allows you to use only a few selected apps like calling or messaging and no, doesn't allow you to use other distractions like google youtube or any other apps that might defocus you those are the android tips and tricks that i had for you hope you guys like the video leave a comment below on what you think and please subscribe to my channel for more such tech content it's a great support to me that being said i am ravi naman this is artech thank you for watching